Hey everyone, it's Jamie Laszlo. You may have noticed that uh, there has not been a In the Spotlight episode for a few weeks now. I'm trying, guys. I, I really, I'm trying. Uh, one guy canceled. Some people said they want to get back to me. But in the meantime, I figured I'd do a, an episode for you, but with me, damn it. So we'll do an in the, in the spotlight episode with me. I just finished my movie room, pretty much 99% done, eh, maybe 96, 95, who knows. But right now it's looking pretty good. So I thought I'd give a tour of the movie room. Uh, once with the lights on and then I'll turn the lights off and that's when the fun begins. So let me get on the other side of the camera and I'll bring you around the room. All right, so here we are walking into the movie room. And it's not that big, guys. I don't know how big it looks on camera, but it's a very small third bedroom. But I cram a lot in here. So here you have my CDs that I keep upstairs. Uh, they go all the way down to the floor. Sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to reach for CDs on the floor and I say, I'll just grab something up here instead. Uh, I have a few more CDs downstairs too. There's some old eight tracks that I acquired, more CDs in the spin tower. I keep pictures of me and some, you know, rock stars that I've met like Alice Cooper and Nancy Wilson, dude from Yob. Uh, Man, how long ago was this? 2004. I saw a fish concert in a movie theater. And it was live via satellite. And uh, it was really cool. And they gave you this poster. I think this poster goes for a few bucks now. If you're a fish fan. And when you come around here, there's a plate I drew back in 1975 of Batman. Alligator poster that came with the 4K. And my Miss Pac-Man. Now this I saw at Walmart, and these things sell for about two hundred and fifty dollars. This was <laughs> it. What it was priced incorrectly. They wanted ninety nine bucks for it. They do sell these type of machines for ninety nine bucks, but they're real small and they go on a tabletop. They don't go in the wall, and they're very small. Somehow they got the UPCs mixed up, and they had this one for ninety nine dollars. So I grabbed it. I would not have bought it for two fifty, but ninety nine bucks, it's mine. And it's got Mappy in there. Uh, that's the little mouse that goes around um, trying to get TVs in the mall and stuff. And it also has Galaga and like Super Pac Man, I think, which isn't that great. So I just play Galaga, Mappy, and this Pac Man on that. And here's my newly acquired Tron machine. That's also these are both by a company called Arcade One Ups. So they're not the real thing. Real Trons go for about $6,000. I don't have $6,000. This normally goes for $700. I found it for $400 on eBay. How many times do you find something on eBay pickup only and it's in driving distance from you? Most times it's like in Wyoming or California or Maine. Found this and the guy was 40 minutes away from me. So I flew down and picked it up. And I made sure I got a Tron poster for have it to have it behind it and what i have here you'll notice in this room i have a lot of lights from five below they sell these little strobe lights for 5.99 and for about a month and a half i was there like every other week or every week picking up another one because i had another reason why i needed one so i have one of them on top of the tron machine and it's blinking on the poster and makes the poster look like it's changing color. You'll see when I turn the lights off uh, how cool it looks. And this marquee doesn't light up, but I do have a light above it. And it comes down on the machine and this kind of the board here lights up and the, uh, the marquee lights up. You'll see. Uh, my old poster of the crow, my sister bought this. God when the movie came out, what is that, almost 30 years ago, and I stole it off her probably 28 years ago, and she keeps asking about it. Yeah, I still got it. And there's a little thing. I bought it. Hobby Lobby cinema thing. This is just a Freddy Krueger 
I, I wore this on a uh, Sea of Tranquility video. I kind of dressed up like Freddy Krueger and came out of that, that closet right there. So I just keep it there because it kind of looks cool. Uh, Pat Benatar cassettes I've had for most of my life up there, including some uh, soundtracks and stuff that she was on. Now, I have a lot of box sets, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K box sets. Mostly Blu-ray and 4K. And what I like to do is I like to put a figure, some type of figure next to the box set and then display it. I've had this Dexter bobblehead for, God, for about 10 years now. So I figured when I made this room, and I've had this room going for maybe three, four, about four months now. Um, I went to a store down the street that sells used DVDs pretty cheap, and I got this season three for a buck. I'm like, I'm going to buy one for a buck and put it next to my bobblehead. I'll never watch a season three on DVD, but it's cool just to be there. And I've got the Rockford Files not too long ago, but I've had this car for probably like six years, and I thought that would go good together. I've been watching the Rockford Files almost every night for the past couple weeks. It just brings back memories from the 70s, man. It's like comfort food, these episodes. Comfort food for the brain. My James Bond box set of every movie. Uh, up to, what the, is up to Spectre, I think. And I got the, um, the Spy Who Loves Me car recently to put next to it. That's the car that goes underwater. And then the uh, Close Encounters, the third kind box set that lights up and sings when you push the button. And that's an actual toy from back in 1970. When did this movie come out? 78? It was after Star Wars, right? 78? And that's an actual bendable toy that I found on eBay. I thought it would be cool to be next to it. Let me see if I can start this up. Ready? Cool. And then wait, here comes the big note. It's a big note. Uh, there you go. And these Kevin Smith posters, I found them on Marketplace, all four, and they're all signed by Kevin Smith. And the guy wanted 40 bucks for all four of them. I flew there. I'm like, 10 bucks each? Are you kidding me? He had no proof that it's Kevin Smith. He said his sister got him signed at like a Comic-Con and left him at his house. But I compared the signatures to what I saw online. And he signs his signature two different ways. Across and then with his last name underneath. And these four posters have both versions and they both look just like his signatures. And who's out there forging Kevin Smith signatures? No one. So I keep them... All together behind the TV. Mall rats. Dogma. That's hard to find on Blu-ray. Uh, people ask like for over 100 bucks for it. I found it for 40 bucks. Not too long ago and grabbed it. And more box sets. With figures. Here's my MASH box set. I really wish they would put this on Blu-ray. But it's on DVD for now. And here's my... Hawkeye Pierce, a uh, friend of mine, Tony, got this for me years ago for my birthday. I think they made these back in 82, I think. And there's my actual um, script signed by Alan Alda right there. I found this on Marketplace for 15 bucks or something in, here in Columbus. Dear Sigmund, I think it won a, an Emmy this episode too. Mash beer that my aunt gave me this summer. I think they made this in... It's still unopened, too. I think they made this in the early 80s, too. There's my Underworld box set with... Uh, God, I, what the hell is her name now? Is it Selena? What the hell is her name? Escapes me at the moment. But yeah, I found that at a toy store here in Columbus. Retro toy store. And my witch box set with my pop, Funko Pop, Black Phillip. I'm not into these things, but I thought this one was cool. And it's, it's supposed to be somewhat rare. 
And I don't like it when it's human beings with the big head. But when it's a goat with the big head, it doesn't look too bad. And I'm not going to open it either. I'm going to keep it sealed. Shelving units with all my movies. This is like comedy here. There's some movie books I've had for years. And uh, comedy and drama. I don't have a lot of comedy and drama because... Well, drama, a lot of it doesn't have rewatchability. Unless it's like The Godfather. But how many times are you going to watch... I don't know. What do I got here? A lot of these... The reason I own them is because I can rewatch them. But how many times can you watch Schindler's List? You know, I saw it once when it first came out. Loved it, but I don't know if I ever want to see it again. And then sports stuff down there. And this shelving unit, actually, I had to put blocks underneath it so the AC could come out right here. And here's my original AT-AT that I bought a few years ago, used. He's from 1981, the old Kenner toy. And my old DVD set of Star Wars my wife bought me almost 20 years ago. She watched Star Wars Trilogy once, and this is how she watched it, on an old school TV off of these DV DVDs, you know. Well, it looks like I got four minutes and 22 seconds maximum recording time, and I don't know why. That is a good question. So, where was I? And I'll just have to edit it, edit this all together. But that's the first time my wife saw Star Wars, so I'm keeping it because of that. And behind that, I have a fan. that Some of the AC air comes up behind my shelving units, and then the fan blows out the cool air, and it keeps a nice circulation in this room. It's my TV. I think it's 65 inches. We have the big 74-inch downstairs. I wish I could switch the TV so my wife could watch her gardening videos on this. And I would have the bigger TV to watch movies. But this room's almost too small for that TV. It would extend into my movie collections. Under here, I got yet another uh, light from Five Below and some action figures I've had laying around for a while. Marvel and DC. There's a little, uh, little Galaga game. Oh, no batteries in it. But you can plug it in if you want and play it. Here's a Death Star I got earlier this year, or late last year. The original Death Star from 1978. Put together with the box. I spent a pretty penny on that. More box sets, my Evil Dead 4K box set, no Army of Darkness included, but Army of Darkness is coming. A couple Ashes, Evil Ash and Regular Ash. And here you have action movies. And you have superhero movies. And then you just got some VHSs down here. As I get more Blu-rays, the VHSs will go into the closet. Found this at a thrift store. This is a Robbie the Robot, Ro Robbie the Robot from For Forbidden Planet. I don't. There's no box set ever made for this movie that I'm aware of. But here's an old VHS. Look, they wanted twenty bucks for that thing, twenty years ago. At least twenty years ago, they wanted twenty dollars for this damn thing. Goes to show you, movie prices are still the same today. Spend twenty bucks on a, a 4K, twenty twenty four bucks on a 4K Pff, VHS, twenty bucks. In 2000 or 99 or whatever that's from and I got there's a empty space here this gap and a light fits there perfectly over top of him and it changes color slowly I, I think it does is it on the right mode well if it's not I'll fix that and there's my poster I got recently Original 1961 Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea poster. It's not in great shape if you take it out of the frame, but when it's in the frame, it looks great. This thing is bothering me and needs to be switched to strobe. All right, so we got that going. <coughs> Excuse me. My tarantula clock. How many times do we see that? That's why I bought it, because it's so unique. The old Big Bug movie from the 
what is it, 50s, I'm pretty sure it's like 56 or something. I've had this for over 20 years. I actually, they stopped making it and I saw it, old Amber Buck in the store recently. I'm like, oh, they brought it back. So now my light doesn't seem that old fashioned anymore. <laughs> You know, this thing is uh, this 3D Star Trek thing that makes it look like they're beaming in and out. And, of course, another light from Five Below, you know, makes it look like these lights up here are lit. And more box sets. A complete season on Blu-ray of the original Star Trek with a Mego Kirk from back in the day. When did these come out? 72 maybe? 71? 73? Alright, my time limit might have something to do with me losing memory in my phone. So, I'm going to keep this going and splice it, you know, if needed. So, here is Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah, and I was talking for a while before, before I noticed my video turned off. With Q and uh, Locutus. Star Trek Next Generation, Friday the 13th, with yet another light from Five Below, and Jason, and the fly, with some plastic flies that I bought off of Amazon, you know, they were here in a day too, it's like those flies were sitting right down the street from me, waiting for someone to buy them, and they were here the next day, it's amazing how many weird things they have lying around that they can get to you within 24 hours, and my classic Universal Monsters, got Frankenstein's monster, Invisible Man, and uh, he does something cool when the lights are off. And the creature from Black Lagoon, and Bela Lugosi's Dracula back there. And this is the black light that shines on them. And there's the one and only big light in the room. Grindhouse original poster, double-sided. My sister was dating a guy, a manager of a movie theater, and he got me that along with this actual 35 millimeter of the trailer and there's an action figure if you're gonna have one action figure you gotta have that one and then there's the old uh rolling stone cover when it came out yeah something about that cover i always liked and there's seven speakers in the room terminator nosferatu figure there i'm gonna upgrade that dvd soon is next to that figure. And there's a side speaker, Sam Jones autographed figure. And here, I'm trying not to make you guys too dizzy. Dawn of the Dead there. There's my horror section. It's not a lot compared to other people's, but you know, it is what it is. And my like thrillers there, like thriller thrillers that are almost horror. Westerns, sci-fis, including sci-fi horror, and then here is like kids movies, Disney movies and stuff, TV series and stuff down there, King Kong poster, no, not an original, that would be nice if it was, some musical stuff up here, you know, Pat, she's always got to be represented. My original books from when I was, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. Signed Testament CD that I got at the show this summer. This is an extra figure. I have a full band of Kiss downstairs. I had to replace Paul for some reason, but I brought up the extra up here. Social D. Skelly. Signed Opeth CD. And we're back to the fish. And below, we have my new rug that I posted yesterday. Has all the, you know, not all of them, but represents the theme, I should say, is Universal Monsters. It took a while to get here, but I tell you what, it looks better than I even expected. It looks really cool. This is the chair I sit in and watch movies. It's just an, just an old uh, gravity chair, you know. I can move it around. It's, I don't have a heavy recliner in here because when I do videos on here, I'd have to move it to the side. This is just easy to fold up, move around, and it's comfortable. Got my cinema pillow, my Necronomicon pillow, and my Evil Dead blanket. 
This is where I keep my controllers, snacks, water, and down there, you know, you gotta have napkins nearby. There's paper towels. I just have them on a clip there and on a little piece of string. And I'm about to run out of space again. Edit. All right, back on the clock with another four minutes and 15 seconds. I don't know why it's giving me these time limits. If it's low on memory, just let me go until I can go. So let's say you want to watch something old school, maybe on like uh, Laugh TV or Antenna TV, which are channels you can get through the air that play old school TV shows. Well, you open this and there you go. Look at that. Welcome back, Carter. And you got a VCR underneath if you want to uh, watch a VCR tape or even tape a show. You know, there was a while back, about a year and a half ago, Murphy Brown was coming on at 3 a.m., set up the old VCR to tape episodes like the 80s and early 90s and there's the motherboard for the surround sound there I know some people might want to know what I have I don't even fucking know I just bought it and hooked it up it's a Denon and that's all I know and it works and it works good so you know I could lay down on the rug here and watch that girl or uh, One Day at a Time, <laughs> or, or Murphy Brown, or whatever the hell they're showing. I keep that in there. I should turn that off because I will forget that it's on. And over here, the Star Wars trivia game, uh, a couple magazines. Here's the old Godzilla box set that nobody can fit on a fucking shelf. And is that it, guys? Should we turn off the lights? I think we should turn off the lights. I think all the lights are, all the cool lights are on, so this place should glow when I turn off the lights. Here, let's find out. Alright, so there you go. And you see how the Invisible Man and the monster and the fly kind of glow in the black light? Pretty cool, huh? Everyone's got their own little light, kind of. And Jason's red. Then you got this color sequence here going. There's the clock. I wish I had a little light over the clock so I could see what time it is better when the lights are off. There's the Amber Bach. There's Robbie, a robot, and he talks. Where the hell is the button? I'm gonna knock the whole thing down trying to press this button for you guys. For your convenience, I am monitored to respond to the name See? Straight from the movie. And I got lights behind the TV that kind of shine out, as you can see. More lights. These posters I just found in the closet, and I thought it was better than looking at the closet doors, so I just threw them up. And there's Tron. And then the Tron poster as it changes colors. See? Cool. $5.99 for these lights. I don't know how long they'll last, but I don't have them on that much. I mean, at night for a few hours. And then Miss Pac-Man with her light going. I have it changing color slowly. Because I don't know what color I like best. So I said, fuck it. Do them all slowly. So there you go. In the spotlight me my movie room oh god this kind of looks cool in the black light nah it looks cooler in person trust me <laughs> i kind of i have this light here hoping it would shine a little bit better on the rug but yeah it looks good oh i forgot i block out the sunlight Oh, edit time's gonna come up. One more edit, guys. And cut. Yeah, I block out all the sunlight. I put up this blanket. And not only do I have the blanket up, but I got a poster board behind it. So the sun doesn't come through the blanket that well. So it's always dark in here. Shut out the outside world. The hell with that world. I don't care what goes on out there. Just leave me alone. Let me watch what I want to watch 
on here, whether it's a movie, TV show, or even even a sporting event. I had the Pitt West Virginia game on last night. So guys, I hope you liked this episode of In the Spotlight with me, damn it. If you want to, I'm look, I'm trying to find people to do an episode. So uh, I don't know if people think it's lame or if they're shy or whatever. But just remember, you're not talking to that many people. You know, 100, 100 to 130 people. That's not a lot of people. Shit. So. All right, guys. So uh, everyone have a good three-day weekend. Because at the time of taping this, it's Labor Day weekend. All right. Later, guys.